get this into the Intersectum computer, I can prove your Waller's the same type of monster. Quinn, answer me! Talk now! Or I'll make sure it's never! We... Our, our comms, they buffed it. Our comms were buffed. Denning, get in here! You said the comms upgrade would be seamless. Mm. I've had it with your shit. Oh. Get your ass to the garage. Oh. You're on gerbil cleanup. Uh oh. Yeah. Mm. I thought she was gonna yeah. end her shit. Yeah, Dennings. <laughs> I thought he was gonna get your shit together. Oh. Denning sucks. I've had Hack working on how to integrate the Argus and LexCorp networks. Turns out someone already did that for me. Mm. Ugh, Denning. <laughs> Poor guy. Yo. <laughs> That's such a crazy reference. <laughs> <laughs>it was like it was still a good time it was it was a good time to play like hitting those nasty combos shit like that this game is by far the most stale game i've ever played in my entire life <laughs> <laughs> the most thrilling part about the game is when you hold your two buttons to do your your movement um your movement ability what, what was it the fucking I don't know. Actually, I don't know if you had it. Did you have the movement ability in yours? Like, mine was, like, hold LB and RB, and it was, like, yeah, do some crazy like a, combo. It's, like, a special ability you fire off. <laughs> yeah. Mine is, like, I would fly up, and I would shoot, like, an explosion at enemies. Uh, I believe yours was, like, a teleport. Like, you would dash all around enemies and stuff like that. Yeah. Every character had, like, their own, quote-unquote, moveset, like, a special ability type thing that they could use. In this game, you play as Deadshot, Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn King Shark, and Captain Boomerang. Now, you would imagine that each of them would have their own play style or maybe totally different mechanics between them to kind of heavily differentiate them. I, I was expecting, like, even so much as, like, having different guns. Like, in the beginning of the game, I was thinking, oh, sniper rifles, only Deadshot could use those, or assault rifles, only he could use those, like, boomerang and shotguns. But you find out in the game that literally anyone can use any weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much everyone plays exactly the same. And, then, and one thing that was bothering me is like King Shark, for example, you would expect him to be like your hulking brute type character. And then it's like he's shooting people. And it's like, why the fuck is King Shark shooting people? Like he should be a melee character diving around, just beating the fuck out of people. And then like Harley Quinn, for example, I was like, I was expecting Harley. Maybe this is my fault for expecting this, but I was thinking she would play like the old Batman games. I was thinking Death, De uh, Deadshot would play basically like a third-person shooter. Captain Boomerang would be like, just have Boomerang shenanigans. Like, you throw it, you have to bring it back, hit enemies on the way back, shit like that. King Shark would be your Hulk-type character. He's beating people up. And then Harley would basically be like the Arkham games. Like, she would just be the counters and the combos and stuff like that. I thought that would be dope. But then you get in and you find out basically everyone is exactly the same. They just have different types of movement mechanics. Yeah. And like they have different animations, I guess, on special moves. And like it's just... essentially it's hold right trigger. <laughs> you it's it's basically <laughs> you hold right trigger. You run up, yeah. you hold right trigger to either do your melee attack or you're just standing back and just aiming and just shooting. Yeah. And honestly, honestly, I can't even say that the gameplay in and of itself is necessarily bad. The reason we're trashing it so much is because every single mission in the fucking game is either you're defending something or you're ex escorting something. Literally every mission is the same thing. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you decided to choose this one first. Oh, there's two of these. The other one is the same fucking thing. Is it? It's literally the same exact objective and icon. Oh, bro, I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> every every mission is defend the payload <laughs> or it's hey defend this area for five minutes mm -hmm. and the worst the worst part about it <clears throat> is 
I don't think there was like any real difference to like any of like the the payload missions or anything like that either. It was hey, while you're defending the payload, you're gonna run into mandatory at least three different times where you're going to have to defend the payload or destroy something nearby because the payload won't move anymore. Like mm-hmm. there was no type of like extra like hey, you know fucking. Like, there was no other mission that was like, hey, like, do this, like, special objective, or hey, like, like have Deadshot assassinate some, like, old care. I don't know, like, do something. Like, don't have me fucking sit in the area and defend it for literally the entire game. And then, for the very end of the game, for you to have to defend the area and move a payload to unlock the very final mission to just get into that mission and have it be literally hey your mission is now to re-defend and re-bring payloads over piss me off uh we'll get into the boss battles and shit in a second but it was just like the thing is this is a live service game they're pitching pitching it as a live service game i mean it's so i don't know bro live service needs to be a there needs to be a live community because what they're doing is killing it real quick yeah, this shit's not gonna make it. There's no way. <laughs> but basically, every live service game is gonna be repetitive to an extent. Destiny, repetitive as shit. Like, that's actually not what I can think of at the moment. But <laughs> Destiny's super repetitive. You're basically doing the same thing over and over again. But this game just has a way in its presentation where it's like, it's just everything is just so like generic and basic. Like, there's nothing, there's no like swag to it, there's no incentive to do anything. It's just you're just kind of doing it just because the game says to do it. Hold up, hold up. There is incentive. The incentive is you get to watch the cutscene. Oh, you get to watch this. <laughs> oh my god. This gameplay wise, time wise, it took us what nine hours to beat, right? Like nine? it took us nine hours exactly to beat. It, it took us nine hours to beat the campaign. We fo- we did focus on mainly the main missions, which hey maybe some of the side missions had like more different umph to it and maybe they weren't all payload stuff or defend the area nah, stuff bro. but it's like you it's, if you're if all your were. if <laughs> all your main missions are do this shit then damn but the fact that we could have beaten this game probably within five to six i'd say if it wasn't for the fact that we had to sit there get stuck watching and hearing the tutorial like don't get me wrong tutorial screens dope like i like knowing like certain shit but when you have like a full fucking paragraph and a half and i'm stuck waiting for like i could read faster than their their fucking characters reading it out to me you know what i mean so if i'm sitting there and i'm already done reading this shit and they wait like maybe five six seconds before they have the character read it out and you have to wait till they're done with that shit sitting on those screens piss me off then the second part watching the stupid animations bro of us apparently competing with one another which didn't feel like a competition at all i felt like that shit was just like uh, i don't know man it, it it felt like cool every now and then one of us would become the new squad leader which made shit ten times more difficult between trying to figure out objectives and who's gonna fucking only the set squad, up the waypoints. Only the squad leader can start missions. So it's like flipping back and forth constantly depending on how you guys are doing. And it's like, oh no, I can't start the mission. I can't mark the mission. So I don't I can't do anything. I guess you're the squad leader. And it's you like, can suggest. Oh yeah, you can suggest where you want to go. And the squad leader has to do it and he has to actually start the mission. And like Oh my god. <laughs> Another thing that is annoying, besides that long ass animation that you have to watch at the end of every single mission when you're getting loot, every single time like loot drops comes in, you have to watch a spaceship thing shoot out the sky, land in front of you, flash five times, animation for it opening up, then it opens up and presents to you like your one item. It seemed like nine times out of ten was a legendary (laughs) weapon. Oh yeah, I don't. (laughs) It didn't even mean anything at a certain point because it's like it at the end of the day it just shoots. It doesn't do anything special. Why do we have to watch the shit land every time? <laughs> oh, so we got another legendary. Look at that. Like, I feel like there was no incentive to, like... Like, there's no incentive to come back and play. There was no incentive to play to begin with besides trying to see where the story went. But the problem with me for the, the whole, like you're saying, the legendary stuff is I got, or we got, I think, the legendary sniper and SMG in the very beginning of the game. Like, from, like, maybe the first few drops... 
and mm -hmm. nothing outclass those weapons until like not even at the end did anything outclass those weapons like i was I got using one the same... sniper at the very end that outclassed the one i was using the whole game and then like that sniper so i'm looking at them they all did different types of damage or they all did different amounts of damage mm -hmm. it's like one is like oh it does 200 the one i got late game is like it does like twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. and i'm using them and i'm like i don't feel like these are doing anything different <laughs> to the enemies it's like I'm still shooting them like once or twice, they all die. Like it doesn't feel like there's any difference between level one and like level fifteen. Mm -hmm. And I think that's also a problem because the difficulty is like it didn't matter at all. Like even yeah, when yeah. they're like, Oh, it's gonna get more difficult when they like it was like raising hell or some shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was like, Oh, it's gonna keep increasing your difficulty. Bro, we had to have increased that thing like twenty times. Yeah. I mean the <laughs> fact that sitting there not even dying, just like casually I wasn't stressed. I was half asleep. I was just chilling. Like, there was nothing remotely <laughs> difficult about anything in this game. This game was by far the easiest thing to go. Hey, listen, the flash is too fast. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, Bro, this game is like... This game... Well, I, I guess did, technically... I, I wasn't even thinking at a certain point. I was just on autopilot. Yeah, I, I, literally, because that's all it is. It's like you, you fucking... I, you know what? It... If the movement was more, the movement was good, but if it was more consistent, I think I wouldn't have, I would have been like brain dead playing this game. Like mm -hmm. if I didn't have to like, if my fucking teleport thing as a boomerang wasn't like this cooldown where I can only throw it twice to move like a certain distance. Oh my God, then, that shit was so annoying. Yeah. It's like you do your movement abilities like, oh, now I'm <laughs> dropping out the sky because I have no way to regenerate in the air. Yeah. And then I can, oh, when I land, I could try using this fucking slide. <laughs> the slide mechanic. That literally did not respond 99.9% .9 of the time throughout the entire game. Lord of everything, yes, G. Why does the slide never fucking work? The, the slide? That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm pressing this shit the second I hit the fucking ground. And I just do a roll. Or At least you get happens. a roll. Yeah, my guy just has the four. Then on top of that, you have the game fucking glitching and showing you tutorials like five hours into the game yeah. on how to do the slide, even though you already knew did the fucking slide. And you have to go into the settings and disable it, otherwise it's going to stay active for the entire runtime. Yeah, nothing like being at the very end of the game, and it's still telling you how to do your slide, and you have to do it three times in a row, and it would just constantly show up on my screen every single time. Bro, we four hours in, you end the mission, it's like, here's how you do a double jump. It's like, nigga, like, <laughs> you think I made it this far? Like, what? Listen, you obviously didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, um, this entire game, I think, combined, we've died less than five times. And I think the like, times that we died were... It wasn't even enemies. It was just us, like, doing being, something stupid. Yeah, it was us being dumb. In a game called Kill the Justice League, obviously, you're going to be fighting the Justice League. And you would think, it's, it's the Justice League. Like, these should be some crazy, high-stakes, epic-ass boss battles. No. Every single one of them was ass. Except for, except for Batman. So, <laughs> there's a meme going around. Flash is the first one you fight. There's a meme going around about how a reviewer, we won't say names, said that the Flash moves too fast to hit. Whoever the fuck played that game and said that that motherfucker was too fast to hit needs to never touch a game again, bro. That he literally <laughs> stops moving. So Flash will run around. And then for no reason at all, just stop moving. Allow you to shoot him. And then you shoot him, you do your damage, and he runs again. That's the whole fight. There's not, It does not change the entire time. He doesn't even run at you and attack you. He will throw tornadoes from a distance, but he never runs up to you and, like, punches you a bunch of times or throws you. Or... No, he just runs, stops, maybe throws a tornado, you shoot him, and then repeat. He has literally... He literally, at one point, ran up to me stopped directly in front of me just to do whatever the fuck he was doing. I don't know if he's charging up. He's like the fucking, I don't know, Duracell battery and needs to fucking hit his fucking thing a few times because he was charging up for something, but that shit wasn't working because he just stopped in front of you. I just pulled out the shotgun as boomerang and slapped him a few times, and then it was like, oh, he has to go to this point of the map now. Shoot him again. Like, come on. And then 
when the fight starts getting interesting. When a flash oh, yeah. is throwing like three tornadoes at you at the same time. You're like, oh, he's turning up now. This is probably like the second phase of the fight. He dies. And we were both just like, he died and we were both like, wait, it, like it's over? Like that, That's it? Let me just catch my breath. I'll I hope that was like a phase one of like six. Oh, look at his help. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I got him. Where's he? Oh, over here. He's down on the ground. No. Oh. Wait. Wow. That was. Wait, that red was the, his remaining health? Yeah. Uh... I'm very. I... And so the flash has expired. Oh, that's a joke. He saved our lives, yet uh... we ended his. As honorable warriors, we will show I literally just started getting into hero. it too. I was just like getting really excited. Man. No, it's phase two, phase Holy three. Shit. Congratulations. Makes sense. The gods have cursed you in every other way. See, when, yeah, that was it. <laughs> when it was going on, I had like in the beginning, I was like, well, this is going to be fucking easy. And you can, I, you could literally like hear it in our voice where it was just like, Oh shit! He's throwing tornadoes. This is oh, he's about to he's about to step it up. Like there's gonna be another phase. Like you know how like other games have boss fights and it's like cool. Like there's phase one, phase two, phase three. They get buffered. There's a crazy new move set that they do. Like mm -hmm. I think when it started getting good was when he started throwing the tornadoes, which was his very last move set. Which was like bro, like uh, I don't know how you just stop it there, like. <laughs> Anyway, Green Lantern fight, dumb as fuck. Basically the same thing. He flies around, he makes constructs, you blow him up, he eventually stops for literally no reason. You shoot him, repeat. He doesn't do anything cool whatsoever, it's just the same shit. It's, we'll get to story parts. <laughs> anyway, Batman. So Batman has the best boss battle in the entire game. Oh, hands down. Hands down. They actually... It's kind of fucked up, honestly, because Batman is the series they've been working on. They put the most time into his part. Mm. So Batman, he had, like, an entire area. He had, like, build-up to him. He had, like, an entire set piece. It was, like, crazy. It was, like, cinematic. Like, it was, like... It felt like an actual boss fight. These other ones felt like I'm just fighting a stronger normal enemy. Batman's was... Batman's was solid. I don't really have any complaints about that one. Gameplay-wise. Story-wise, we'll get to it. But... <laughs> Gameplay wise, Batman was the best one. I'm I'm gonna say Superman is the most disappointing fight in the entire game. A hundred percent. They hype Superman up the entire game, like he is like <laughs> he's just like this unstoppable god. Which I mean, if you know Superman, like <laughs> he basically is. And then you fight him and you beat him so quickly. That it doesn't even feel like you fought him. The crazy... I was fighting the environment. Like yeah. I, was fighting <laughs> I, was, I was trying to fight for my life to not get juggled by an invisible barrier that was killing me. It was... Oh, my God. And then he just dies, just, just goes away. But anyway, last thing to talk about gameplay-wise. The enemies will get the League's powers after you kill them. So the enemies absorb the Flash's powers. Honestly, the Flash ones are the only ones I noticed. The the, the most part. <laughs> well, no, and the Green Lantern ones. Yeah, the Flash and Green Lantern ones, and they got the they got the fear toxin at some point too. Um, I didn't even notice it. Yeah, but the whole thing was the Flash ones were, the Flash ones were like okay, cool. They were more difficult to beat than the Flash, in my opinion. They were. And then you had the fucking Green Lantern. Fucking the only thing that happened with the Green Lanterns were the fucking helicopters that got his fucking construct shields for whatever reason and fucking yeah, every helicopter just was shielded by green lantern's ability yeah but like they did damage later too yeah they did damage though then those things would fuck you up um just because they just appeared out of nowhere yeah but like the fact that the fucking enemies that got their abilities were just 10 times in my opinion 10 times more difficult to kill not even that they were stronger in the sense of like like beating our asses but like just harder to kill like why the fuck are the fucking the grunt enemies harder for me to fucking hit with my sniper than fucking like the actual flash you know what i mean it's crazy last thing one boss we forgot the 
the the the the big boss of the entire game, the reason all this is happening. Brainiac. Ooh, Brainiac. <laughs> this nigga. So no, I thought we'd try something a bit different. You still haven't found out what his weakness is. <laughs> nope. We only found out there's thirteen of them that we have to kill. I fucking called it. I uh, told you. I'm the fastest man alive. He's gonna Wait. transform into all the Justice League. You see my terminals also but we defeated them. Me. Through them, I can power. reshape this body. <laughs> I don't even know where to start, bro. Which one? <laughs> so you beat Superman. They give you like a a pseudo ending. They're like, oh. To beat Brainiac, you can't actually beat Brainiac because there's 13 different Brainiacs that all have to be beat. At that point, I was like, fuck it, we're not doing it. We're not fighting 13 Brainiacs, there's no way. You no doubt remember there are 13 Brainiacs across the latticework of the You got me Bro, fucked wait. up. You got me mm -hmm. fucked up. Kill them all, get cool shit, don't go back to Arkham. We have to find them first. Nope. To do that, Hack is pulling computational mm -hmm. power from everything with a CPU for a hundred miles. Mm. Each pathway leads to a different reality. Nope. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Elsewhere's I was like, fuck it. Twin. Elseworlds, you could say. Is this how they plan on keeping it going? Wait. Incursions will require significant quantities of an unstable element. <laughs> no, fuck that. Nope. Promethium. This is the if Luther part is to be it. believed, the artillery platforms and terraformers are the oh, That keeps you going, pretty much. So get enough of Lex's magic beans, then hit Brainiac on his turf? Nope, oh, not doing it, it we're done. It all leads to this. Getting yourself in shape for a direct assault. Therapy. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not doing it. Idle hands, TFX. Wait, I am just... You, I'm, I'm not doing it, fuck got it. Got some jobs need doing. Fuck that. Not even the first Lex. Fuck that. It, look at it. It costs 3,000 of those fucking beans. This is the live service shit. This isn't even like a mission, like a campaign thing. Oh, yeah. Mission locked. Cause we're... Oh, fuck that, bro. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Mission locked because we need 3,000. How much do you get per thing, though? The you get 1,000 per thing. So we just have to Nigga. kill three of these. Are you that you dead ass want to do this? It should be quick. It shouldn't be too hard. God. Let's see. Let's see. I just want to defeat the first Brainiac. That's got to be like the end. You know what I mean? The end of this main world campaign. When they said that, I fucking knew it. I knew it. I said it. I was like, I feel like Brainiac is going to transform into Justice League members. And honestly, I was hoping that Brainiac... One Brainiac would transform into every League member you fought, and you yeah. have to fight them all back to back. Because mm -hmm. I thought that would be, that would be kind of cool. At least. Yeah, it, like, it'll make it a more difficult, like yeah, it'll make you it know, more difficult, like something that kind of like encapsulates the whole game. Or like not even like okay, cool, like fucking you, like throw more of their abilities in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like cool, you want to transform into the Flash again? Good for you, but fucking I don't know. Give them fucking. Superman's heat vision or something, you know? And the Flash fight is exactly the same as when you fight Flash in the game. No difference. There is not a single difference. Actually, the colors and the animation. And, oh, he spawns some He's, of his enemies. Yeah, you, you, you have to fight some grunts in between. And he also has the same exact health, the same exact animations. The same exact phases. Same exact phases. There was nothing different. That was that was when I was like, this game is trash. Like, there's, there's, there's no saving it, bro. But listen, it was all worth it because in the very end, you get a drop, and you know what they dropped? Nothing that was able to outclass our first fucking. <laughs> yeah, you get a loot drop that's not even better than what you currently have. Yeah. And you get to do that twelve more times. So assuming Flash is one time you fight Brainiac, there's five Justice Leaguers. You fight four of them, so that means they're probably gonna repeat. You fighting Flash again in that 12 more times you have to fight Brainiac. Yeah, I, I don't know what they're planning on doing, like, 
story-wise for these 13 other areas, but, like, they have to do something if they're trying to keep this shit alive. Like, this I don't shit... know how the fuck they're going to make this last life service. I, I don't know what, it, what it, they're going to do. Yeah. Like, it felt like a job to play this game. <laughs> it really did. It was to the point I was like, bro, I'd rather be working. When we were playing through this, I literally had to convince this man to at least get to the Brainiac level. Because you know what we had to do? We had to do three. I forgot about that. Defend yeah. the area missions to unlock the Brainiac level. <laughs> oh, yeah. To fight Brainiac, there's credits you have to get. Yep. To get the credits, you have to do more of the missions you have done the entire goddamn game again three times so you can get 1000 credits a piece so you can pay to fight brainiac don't forget that service bullshit don't, yeah. for- don't forget about that no, don't forget as soon as you pay and you get into the brainiac uh, kind of like world to fight him don't forget that you still have to do at least two to three more, more defend missions yep. payload or defend missions while inside except while inside that world but you have a 30 minute timer you know there's there's a little more at stake there now your time (laughs) so to get to the boss fight you have to do at least six of these fucking missions Mm -hmm. just to get to the boss fight that's the exact same as the boss fight you've already done to not give you anything worth it (laughs) in my opinion game of the fucking year so there really isn't level like it's, the, the level every design fight is, is out in the open world you're just fighting on buildings like there's not really the level design i will say the initial introduction to the main like to the map like to the city and everything was dope like oh, seeing they really s- give you some expectations that are not do, yeah, what the game is the level design was actually like it looked like it was going to be like super neat when they brought in when, once you see the brain like brainiac ship and and like the other world and all this other shit but it's just like there was nothing that was really all too captivating, like design wise. I the think the entire game you're just fighting on buildings and like in the open world. Exactly. There's no, I mean, you go into some buildings in some cases, but they're just arenas. Like there's nothing. The most interesting level design was probably the fucking Bat Cave. I was gonna, I was Again, gonna say the, the Bat the Cave, Netflix. and then the fucking uh, your the main area in the beginning, the um, the museum. Yeah. Like those were the two most captivating parts. It's like the Batman Museum, the Batman, the Bat Cave, and nothing else in the map was like, oh, this is dope. Like you had Brainiac's like little fucking tentacle things all around, like moving and shit. But it was just like, ah, uh, like after you get that initial introduction, there, there's nothing in the game that really brings you in or draws you in to be like, oh, this shit is dope. Like this mm-hmm. is cool. Like, yeah. Graphics wise, I think the game looks fine. What is weird to me is I played the shit out of Batman Arkham Knight and I swear that game looks better than this one. And that game came out in 2015. I don't I don't really even know what to say about that, but like I mean, the, the game looks fine. Mm-hmm. The game is fine, like graphically it's not nothing too bad, it's nothing great like it's not revolutionary or anything. But at the same time, it didn't wow me like Arkham Knight did when it first came out, where I was like, how the fuck did they get this like to look like this? Yeah. Um, but more importantly, performance. <laughs> this game... Runs like trash. <laughs> this game runs like absolute dog shit. Like, the game will literally fluctuate from running at like 120 FPS to like 30 FPS. In the span of you literally standing still and taking like three steps, it, it, it's just super inconsistent with the frame rate. I don't understand. Like, I had Nvidia DLSS on and everything, and just like all over the fucking place. Like, if I wasn't <laughs> using G Sync, this would have been aggravating as fuck with how much the frame rate was fluctuating. Bro, with the specs that I'm running on my PC, there was no reason for me to be dropping any kind of frames. <laughs> Yeah, you're using a 3090, and I think you're using a Ryzen 9, right? Yeah, I'm using a 3090 Ti. <laughs> I'm using a 3080 and I'm using a Ryzen 9 and like this game is running like like shit. Yeah. I literally I literally was testing. I was like when we first started I'm like I'm going to like what is going on? Like is my 3080 like dated now? <laughs> like I know it's a generation behind, but, but I'm like, like bug. let me turn my settings down. I turned it to 720p. Low setting. <laughs> and this game still was not consistently getting 60 fps. It's, it's too difficult to run this and Brainiac shit was doing a lot, all right? in the back 
He was doing a lot just standing there. Yeah. Just moving like, uh, moving one chemical every fucking every three hours when you did something and story I, changing. I, I didn't have any crashes, but I did have there were moments where we'd be playing and we thought we crashed because the oh, game yeah. would just like freeze. Stop like sound would cut out. The game would just freeze. <sighs> All right. Did my game just crash? crash? No, I got it. That's because I killed that shit too quick. I think I crashed. Oh. Did you really? No, I'm okay. What the fuck is What the fuck? It's real technical. Well, don't get me into the audiobooks, bro. Having to okay. go through an entire. Dude, going through the boss fights and then having, like, the immersive. The music cut out? <laughs> cut, yeah, the uh, immersive <laughs> music for your, your crazy tough boss fight and having it just be dead silent was the most fucking like <laughs> or it's like cutting in and out <laughs> randomly it's like it kills all immersion yeah it, it like it killed the entire mood <laughs> honestly like i i feel like i don't, I wouldn't even call them crashes they felt like micro crashes mm -hmm. i just it just the, I don't the know, amount of times wise, it happened was just a little a little crazy to me this story buns <laughs> I so I, you can go first. Dude. I I will start with. I'm not one who's like really big on like any of the DC stuff, uh, like story wise. Uh, but for someone who knows like nothing, this made this game a hundred times more unbearable to play through. Like I know this game does not explain shit. Yeah, you go I, in, they just kind of expect you to know who all these characters are. And and here's the thing, like I know like the small stuff, like small little bits of each character and whatnot. So like I I understand like certain things, but the story was just so all over the place and so bad that I, I can't even like justify the fact that we made it past like in this game. In all reality, our four characters should not have made it past the fucking the Green Lantern scene. <laughs> Fuck no. There was no way. <laughs> there, there, this game is only possible because the entire story is, hey, we decided not to kill you for whatever reason. I guess we don't think you guys are a threat, but we're just going to keep letting you guys fuck up our plans and somehow beat our ass with the stupidest shit. And we're gonna just call it a day. So here's my thing. So the Ark, I played through all the Arkham games. I know the lore going into this. I don't know why this is in the same universe. If anyone has played Arkham Knight, you know at the end of that game, Bruce's identity is revealed. He starts the night Nightfall Protocol. Then you get the ending cutscene of him using the fear toxin on the criminals in the alleyway. This game skips so much time between that and now that you have like to fill in so much information with just like audio logs or just guessing that it's fucking ridiculous we have no idea who superman is in this universe no idea who any of these characters are in this universe and we're just supposed to feel bad and we're supposed to have these crazy emotional reactions just because oh you know who superman is like outside of this game like you know how that works but it's like no you have to explain who he is in this universe like like Jose said, like he doesn't know anything about these characters. They're just kind of expecting you to just be aware of like who these people are and what they stand for. And another thing, the whole kill the Justice League thing, it's like, how the f one, we fought Brainiac's army. Basically, we've seen everything Brainiac's had to offer in our time playing as playing as a Suicide Squad. The game, we even fought Brainiac himself and killed him. How in the fuck? Did he beat the Justice League? <laughs> How? Listen. How could he have possibly beat them and taken all of them over? Before he got any of their powers. <laughs> How? How would that even have been possible? His enemies are trash. Like, they didn't even... His we're normal people, <laughs> and we're beating them all. His enemies in this game are his own weakness, because in this game, yeah. killing the enemy is what you need to do to damage literally every main boss <laughs> his weakness is losing troops like how does that make sense like like damn and, you killed five of them now my shield's down fuck 
How could they have possibly gotten Flash? How could they have gotten... Well, we saw how they got Flash, but how could they have gotten Superman and Green Lantern first? Like, there's no way. Like, well, there's no way that would have happened. What gets Even me with Batman. The, what gets me with the entire thing is, how did they get all of them, but not get Wonder Woman? <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. Because like, when you're playing this game, you're playing as Boomerang, Harley, and Deadshot. All three of those are normal people. <laughs> We're just humans. And Batman is above basically all three of them in every sense of the word. And they beat the army, but he couldn't? Like, <laughs> what? And then on top of that, how you start the game, Green Lantern immediately has you in a situation where he can kill you. Like, just like that. Right kills off, off you. Now, you could say maybe in that moment they're being arrogant. They don't see you as a threat, blah, blah, blah. They throw you away. But after it gets to the point where you're destroying his army, you're blowing up his ships, you're actively interfering with his plans, you could say, oh, maybe he's still just like, oh, it's just a fluke, they're winning. But after you kill the fucking Flash, <laughs> how are they still just casually letting you live? Every like, situation after is they literally find a way to, like, snag you or be within killing range, and they just proceed to say, I'm gonna let the henchmen do this. When, when Green Lantern, when Green Lantern trapped us in the stadium and used whatever he made, a whole construct or whatever, you could not, you could not run up the walls. There was like an invisible barrier. You would get thrown off of it. Cool, makes a little bit of sense. Indestructible, fine. Why is it that once we're done killing all the grunts in that stadium? He put a fucking dome around this entire place, but left the one front door completely open <laughs> and accessible. He's just like, oh, let me just leave this door so they can get out and progress the game. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, no, no, what kills me is each Justice League member, because they tried to take the story Tower of Babel, where Batman had contingency plans for all of Justice League, except they did it in the dumbest fucking way possible. So, Flash's countermeasure, he probably has the dumbest one in the entire game. <laughs> yeah, one besides, besides Batman saying, there is no Batman counter. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, Flash's contingency is a button that you have to press. When Flash is running towards you, that will disrupt his speed force. You have to press a button before the Flash gets to you. The man who canonically can run faster than light, you're supposed to react and press a button. And somehow this works. Somehow there's a scene where Lex Luthor is standing in front of Flash, pulls out a device. Flash sees him do this. He goes to run up to Lex. It goes slow mo. Somehow Flat Lex presses his button before Flash can get to him. And then literally 30 seconds later, Flash runs so fast that he rips the man's heart out before anyone notices. And then before that, you see Flash dodge bullets at point blank range, but then he just miraculously can't stop him from pressing his button. The craziest part is you would think that with these little counters and stuff that they would change the gameplay up a little bit more to make the boss fights more difficult, to, like more difficult. Yep. But even though you have this, oh, you know, press this button and it disrupts the flash. It's, oh, no, your gun's bullets can now reach him. You can now shoot him because you have this button. Like, I don't I, I that doesn't even make any sense to me. Like, ooh, Every I'm... single weakness just turned into a new. Just, a new oh, bullet. you can just shoot him now. Yeah. <laughs> Even you're fighting Green Lantern. They're like, the way to beat Green Lantern is to break his will. Just, just break his constructs. That'll break his will. It's like, shoot, what? Shoot, like, shoot his oh, and you can break the constructs because you're using Sinestro Core bullets now. It's like, bro, what are we doing? Like, what? Who wrote this? Like, who thought this was good? And then, oh my God, this is where we're getting into the Batman stuff. Yeah. The only good part of the story, but still had issues. So, Batman's evil. You get to his... One, you break into a Batcave. Whatever, that's fine. Two, Batman is in there. He fills the entire cave with fear toxin. He then lets you, four, four of you, walk around and mix fear toxin with some design that Harley miraculously knew how to counteract his fear toxin. 
even though Batman's fear toxin is different from Scarecrow's fear toxin. She knew how to counter his, because I guess it was similar enough that she just miraculously had a formula for it. And Batman allows you to walk through a bat cave. <laughs> While you're all drugged up, you're all hypnotized, walking super slow, he allows you to walk through and hit multiple vents to mix the sphere toxin to mess up his plans to take you down. When earlier in the fucking game, in a museum, when everything goes dark, he takes out the entire squad while you're walking through a museum. Like it's nothing. But later in the game, that same Batman can't take you down in his own fucking cave. <laughs> I'm still stuck on the fact that he didn't mark us. When he like, knocked us all, I like, bro. When when he got us in the fucking museum, I thought we died. Like that shit was so like, cool to watch. If he's evil now and he killed everyone there, why the fuck wouldn't he kill us? They like, were killing normal police officers and normal civilians, but we were a lesser threat than they were, apparently. And why was <laughs> Batman more effective in a random fucking museum than in his own Batcave? How would he allow people to flood his own back cave with a counteract with a countermeasure to his own fear toxin? It's because he just got done fighting Robin. <laughs> oh Apparently. my god, bro. Apparently. And then So you fight Batman, he's using fear toxin, he's basically a copy of the scarecrow fight. It was cool, it was a spectacle, blah 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 blah. Anyway, they then they then take Batman. They're just carrying him. He's not tied up. He's not held down. He's just thrown over Harley's shoulder and they just walk on the Lex Luthor's place. Well, they they put him into the pod. Oh, like no, you're, you're weird... right. They shrink him. Yeah. After but afterwards. That, they're just carrying him on his shoulder. Batman is fully conscious in Lex Luthor's house. Like, I guess you could say he's stunned. He's still hurt from a, a little bit or whatever. But he's talking shit. Then they take him off of the rack or off of, like, the table or whatever they were operating him on. Carry him again. Take him to a park bench. Throw him on a bench. And then just pop him in the head. But you didn't think it'd be me at the end. Hop it! Are we done with your bad stand-up routine? Almost. But you always gotta end on your best joke. So we could fight Superman. <laughs> this fucking character has been built up since the Arkham Asylum game, which came out in, I want to say, 2008. And they just killed him like it was just like some random dude. Oh my god, we don't know how he met the, the Justice League. We don't know anything that happens after Nightfall. We didn't see anything about what happens to Robin, all those other people. Apparently one of Robin's, just one of the Robins dead. We, they hinted Damien being alive. We don't know what happened with that, but he just gets popped in the head. He's just evil, just dies. <laughs> they never find a way to stop it. Batman, of all people, can't break Brainiac's mind control. He he just gets killed on a park bench. Bench falls over, and then they're just making jokes after, like, oh, well, he's done. That fucking bothered me. I was like, how... This character has been built up for over 10 fucking years, and you just literally just shoot him in the park like it was nothing. They just throw it all away. <laughs> On top of it being Kevin Conroy's last performance as Batman, this is how you go out. I get they did not know what was going to happen to Kevin Conroy after, but, like, this just feels nasty. Like, they just did it for the pure shock value. Like, they didn't think about any narrative consequences. My mind going into this, I was thinking that you'll quote-unquote kill the Justice League, and then and you'll find out it wasn't the actual Justice League. That never happens here. Maybe it happens later. Maybe after you kill all 13 fucking Brainiacs, you find out, oh, it, was, it actually wasn't them. <laughs> but no, all intents and purposes, it seems like you actually kill the Justice League here. But anyway, you get rid of Batman super anticlimactically. I'm just sitting there in silence at this point. I am. I didn't have anything <laughs> to fuck to say. <laughs> Superman, sure Superman comes in. What's the plan? How about we shove these gold kryptonite bullets right up his ass? I don't think that's how we're supposed to. <laughs> One of the world's finest heroes. 
snuffed out by this. Mm-hmm. And you're next, asshole. Sure, sure. You can tell Wonder Woman all about it. Not so funny now, is it, dickhead? And Superman's pissed off, so you're like, oh, realistically, he can just wipe all of us. But no, Lex Luthor develops new golden kryptonite. <laughs> because the original kryptonite didn't work because he was powered up by Brainiac. She's with us. It, okay. It altered his DNA. Yeah, it altered his DNA, so normal kryptonite doesn't work. So you need gold kryptonite now. So you fight Superman, he's pissed off. You're thinking, realistically, the Superman that earlier in the game stopped the fucking nuke. I thought that was a nuke, bro. Hey, yo. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Now Batman will do it. <laughs> yeah, that was a cool Superman. entrance, not gonna lie. Oh, no. Superman. <laughs> You think he throws a nuke at her? <laughs> oh. It seemed like he was resisting a little bit, though. Uh, realistically, he would probably break out of it. Oh, look. His finger's gone. <laughs> She got thrust into the container. Damn, what part of the world did they just nuke? <laughs> Well, you know. <laughs> and killed Wonder Woman could realistically wipe the Suicide Squad in like four seconds. The same Wonder Woman who also beat the shit out of the Suicide Squad earlier in the game like it wasn't nothing. So if Superman, if Superman beats the Wonder Woman who beat the Suicide Squad, how the fuck does the Suicide Squad beat Superman? 
Well, you see. And even if you say it's the gold kryptonite, if they're shooting at Superman and he gets hit once, he's like, "Oh, let me not let not, let me let that not happen again." And the dude who canonically can move faster than fucking light should be able to dodge all these bullets and take everybody out. <laughs> well, you see. So, you beat Superman. You would think this is Superman, the poster child, probably arguably the most popular superhero of all time. That he would have some last words. And maybe he'd break Rainiac's mind control. Maybe something at the end. Nope. And like, <laughs> it's just like, what are y'all doing? Like, it's not even the fact that they killed the Justice League. It's the fact that like, if you're gonna do something as like brazen as killing the Justice League, you gotta make that shit dope. You gotta make these fights fucking crazy. You gotta make these moments hit. Like, you can't just go and just kill them just to kill them. It seemed like they did it literally just for the shock value to get people to do what we're doing now and react to it. Yeah. Except they didn't give a good enough game where people would actually want to fucking play it. They just pissed people off of the story, gave a shitty ass game, a shitty ass experience, so now their fucking player count is below a thousand on Steam. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised it's even at a thousand. Like, or I'm surprised it's even close to that. Like, I don't know, man. I had but, no will to complete this game. <laughs> bro, and, and on top of that, it's just like there's just story shit that is like, why? Like, Green Lantern dies... His ring stays on his finger for some reason. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I can ignore it. King Shark then removes the ring from his finger. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. We'll just ignore that too. He puts on the ring, says Green Lantern speech incorrectly. He says King Shark at the end. Somehow fully becomes a Green Lantern. Summons a giant fucking shark. A Green Lantern construct shark that breaks Brainiac's shield easily, which then leads you to think like, well, if King Shark has never been Green Lantern, he could break Brainiac's shield with Green Lantern Construct. Why the fuck couldn't the normal Green Lantern break Brainiac's shield initially before when they got fucking invaded? Like, anyway. And then for some reason, after he does this, the Green Lantern ring starts making him evil? It drives him mad. <laughs> okay. And then the rest of the Suicide Squad removes it from his finger and they just throw it into the ocean. Oh, <laughs> and they just they just introduced like a multiverse idea of like, oh, there's multiple brainiacs, multiple universes, and it's like it's so fucking stupid. It's like you're saying every single universe Justice League lost to Brainiac the same way, and the only people in the entire multiverse that can beat him is this very specific version of Suicide Squad. Bro, nah. <laughs> It doesn't make sense within the lore of it. The only the, of the lore of this game, it doesn't make sense. Everything they show in this game contradicts itself constantly. It's fucking, it's like frustrating to play through. The only positive that I can say about this campaign, well, literally the only thing, is that the game is really good at calling back on itself for the little jokes they make. Yeah. Fucking moment about fucking the dude. Dennis. <laughs> and we'll get thirty years easy off our sentences for bringing you in. Alive this time. The same devil's bargain my wallet made with Task Force X back home. Quit! Mm -mm. Man! Right! <laughs> I've been chrono! I was enlisted into her schemes just <laughs> like you. Answer me! Her choices got you all killed. <laughs> that does sound like her. And us. Get this into the Intersectum computer. I can prove your wallet's the same type of monster. Quit! me talk now or i'll make sure it's never we are our, our comms they busted our comms were busted denning get in here you said the comms upgrade would be seamless mm. i've had it with your shit oh. get your ass to the garage oh. you're on gerbil cleanup uh oh yeah mm. i thought she was gonna end yeah. her shit yeah, <laughs> i thought he was gonna get, get your shit together oh. denning sucks I've had Hack working on how to integrate the Argus and LexCorp networks. Turns out, someone already did that for me. Mm. Ugh, Denning. <laughs> Fucking Denning. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Yo. Like <laughs> That's this, such a crazy no reference. You all <laughs> Dennis, or whatever the fuck his name was, messing up like the comms yeah. and causing them to static, and then referencing that later. That was like a good moment. The Batman Museum was a good moment, just because it was referencing the Arkham games. Like. King Shark's random lines were good moments. 
King Shark had cool dialogue. Their dialogue when they're walking through the Bat Cave was cool, but for the most part, this whole story was ass. Yeah. Like it's, the whole thing there was, was just nothing redeeming about garbage. this. They could try and fix this later with DLC, but I maybe if they do, maybe we'll come back. Maybe, but I, oh. I this shit was bad. This was almost this is offensively bad. Only way I could describe this story is nasty. I'll give this shit a one. You you're gonna give it a one? That's generous. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm, I'll give it a one for Dennis. <laughs> we said we have no desire to play this shit again. So we barely <laughs> had a desire to go back and fight Brainiac. We, we started the game after we were gonna do a first impressions on this, and we were so like done, didn't even want to fucking play this. That it was like, bro, like I don't even care. Yeah. Like, it took us two hours to basically see where everything the game had to offer gameplay wise. The game kind of showed you everything it had gameplay wise in the first. 20 minutes when they had you at full capacity <laughs> yeah you start the game maxed out if you don't like the way the game plays right there you might as well drop it because it's not going to change the rest of the game that first area is the entire game that first area is hey the only difference that you're going to see between that it, like bro even the fucking the skill tree bro the skill tree was hey fucking pointless it, it's the most pointless thing it's hey you increase your combos and it gives you more it's one shades. of those percent based skill trees where it's like yeah. oh you get one percent extra damage but it doesn't actually like give you a new move ability or nothing it's yeah. pointless there's only like i think two new moves you get throughout that entire skill tree <laughs> and then like the only other thing that ever changes is your weapon your weapons and your weapon stats that's it your weapon barely feels like it changes it yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels like the all the snipers thing. are essentially the same you just get what maybe a different like there's probably maybe like four or five different variants to each type of weapon mm -hmm. they're all just reskinned with different stats is the, the end result and it's like even with that it's just like bro like the best grenade i got was the one that hey it does zero damage <laughs> and it hurts you just if you have a grenade on you but it's a legendary so. Bro, yeah. So, all right. Anyway, final thoughts. I would say, don't buy the game. Cause that's what I would say. Do not buy this game for seventy dollars. <laughs> yeah, for the price of seventy dollars. Seventy fucking dollars. And then right. launching next to Hell Divers too is another thing. But we're not even gonna get into that part. Yeah, yet. but you'll see a review on that one soon. <laughs> this this was this was literally one of the most disappointing games I've ever played, especially coming from Rocksteady. Cause I'm. As a fan of all their stuff previously, and this is this is a massive disappointment. I I want to see them improve this in DLC. I don't. Maybe I'm stupid, but I I have some faith that they can. But I, uh, no, nah, this shit was trash. Uh, one one could hope that it improves, but I I don't know. I don't even. The problem is like, if you I feel like when you launch like this, uh, you killed off most of your fan base already. You know what I mean? There's not going to be many as people as we've already seen. Yeah. <laughs> You, there's not going to be a lot of people who are going to be like, well, let me give it a second chance, unless the DLC is free. Like, they have to add free DLC is what it's going to have to be. If they're like, hey, here's this DLC that improves everything, but here's a $20 price tag, like, fuck no. The only way that this game is going to recover, they've already fucked up. They pissed off people with the story. They pissed off people because they killed the way they treated Batman. They pissed off people with the gameplay. They pissed off people that it was live service. The only possible way this game recovers if they literally release a massive expansion that retcons the entire story of this game and reworks the entire gameplay system. there's And realistically, considering the player counts drop so much, they're not going to invest the money into that. There's no way. Yeah, no. So this game's probably done. Yeah. Don't waste your time. Yeah. Or your yeah, time, bro. I, I wasted nine hours of my life. Okay. You say don't waste your dime or your time? Yeah. <laughs> Don't waste your dime or your time, bro. That's the slogan, bro. <laughs> Waking every day, I don't see shit change. Trying to figure out what I can do about it. Trying to put my crew on, but this shit is too small. Maybe it's a stretch, nigga. We could even rock it. Yeah, we gotta lift off, but this shit is too slow. Lately, y'all been feeling like this motherfucker stalling. Seeing rock bottom and the sight is so appalling. Had to take.